All right, time to do some Patreon requests, and this first one we're going to be doing is from Nolan Anejo. Hope I'm pronouncing. I'm still having trouble pronouncing that last name. I apologize. And he asked me to do a Black Lagoon versus Predator crossover. But before we go any further, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon. Hit the first tier. Uh, excuse me, the third tier, not the first, the third tier, and that'll allow you access to do so, as well as check out all the other videos on the other tiers. But other than that, hope you all enjoy this, and let's get started. So, the story basically begins with a, um, basically there is a uh, light in the, it's just one night sky in Roanapur, it's just a beautiful night. It's a very, it's a beautiful night, and it's weird because, like, they're looking up and there's, like, a shooting... Like, um, Revy and Rock are looking up at the stars, just kind of lounging on the boat, getting drunk. And they're, like... And Revy's, like, stupid fucking falling star. And he's, like, falling star? Where? Nope. That's a fucking predator. Um, the ship comes down and it actually, uh, proceeds to, uh, come down. And actually what it does, the first thing it does when it comes down, gets all of its gear... And it actually kills a small drug, a small drug uh, deal going down between two low-level gangsters. So kills them, takes their their skulls, and proceeds to make its way into Roanapur. The next day, um, the bodies of those people of those um, drug dealers are found because they were like they were killed in such a, a way that made them everyone go, "Who the fuck did that?" Because they're skinned, their heads are missing, and it's just they're strung up. And everyone looks at Bella Laika in Hotel Moscow like, yeah, did these guys piss you off or something? Because this looks this looks like almost like you sending a message, Bella Laika. But Bella Laika, on the other hand, is just kind of looking at these going, oh, yeah, that's not us. But I think we know, uh, but that's, don't worry about it. So she immediately goes back, calls uh, her sergeant, and is just like, lock down everything, it's back. It's come back. So, um, throughout the day, throughout, and it's a hot day. It is a hot. It is a hot summer uh, summer month in Roanapur, and the pred and this predator has or it starts making the rounds. Like it goes attacks the Italians. It bound it, ki it kills them. Takes trophies. It hits the Russians. Take it hits not the Russians. The chi the triads hits them. Takes skulls, and it's just leaving a bloody wake. Um, no matter where it goes. Like, it is just fucking annihilating everything and everyone in its path. Like, it just does not fucking care. And it's just taking skulls left and right. So, obviously, everyone's kind of uh, pointing fingers again at, like, who, who the fuck is behind this. Because right now, they don't think it's some extraterrestrial being. They think it's another gang war. And they're already pointing fingers at the Italians because they're like... Well, you did send those twins, you know, not too long ago that did kind of similar shit. So, um, what the fuck, dude? And the Italians are like, no way, man, that ain't us. That ain't us, man. Like, they, we got hit too. Did you forget that part? We got, fu uh, you know, we got fucking, um, we lost some good men too. You know, is it Belalaika? They got, uh, they have been on, uh, on the, hu uh, on the hush. You know, they've been on the, uh, they've been on like a lockdown. So are they trying to push us out? Um, and of course, like, uh, the Lagoon Company is just kind of, like, caught in the middle of this, like, shit. It, it, like, Dutch is like, shit, you know? This is, uh, this is pretty fucked up, and it's like, it kind of reminds me of something I saw back in Nam. So Dutch, like, leans back and is just, like, talking to Rock, and he's just like, you know, I saw so uh, these kind of killings back in Nam, you know? It was a hot day in, uh, um, in the jungle, just when we were on patrol, and we basically came across we we basically came across we got ambushed by a group of Viet Cong. The Viet Cong pinned us down. We were firing back, but we were surrounded. But then out it's something came out of the jungle. Something came out of the jungle, and all we heard were screams and flesh getting being cut. By the end of it, um, we went to inv after like the thing felt like forever, but it really was like five minutes tops. So after we, uh, the Viet Cong had been silenced, we went over to go check, and we found just bodies strung up, their heads missing, their guns gone, everything. And we thought it was, like, maybe some spooks or, you know, maybe CIA or something, but we never got any confirmation. Um, this group came in called the OWLF, 
um, and they took over the area real fast, but we never knew what it was, but it was some spooky shit, Rock. So, uh, so late after that, the Lagoon Company gets called in, and they basically are told by Bella Laika, hey, so I need you guys to keep an open mind, because um, we know what's behind this. We are well aware of who is doing the killings, and everybody's like, cool, who's... Who's, uh, like, just point me in the right direction and I'll fucking end them. And Bella Laika goes, um, because they're, they're, like, even Rock's noticing, wow, I've never seen, like, Bella Laika off her game. Like, usually, like, when it's, like, a new pusher or a new gang member or a new gang, it's usually, like, these guys, you know, don't scare Bella Laika. They usually are just kind of, like, um, these guys, for the most part, are... Um, you know, seen as just an annoyance to Bella Laika, but whoever this is, it's th it's like spooking her. It's like, like, she looks almost like legit scared. So that's when Bella Laika literally tells them, back in, during the war, when Russia was battling the Mujahideen, my company was sent in to uh, take out another rebel force that had, ho that had been holding up a base. It wasn't the Mujahideen. It was a. It was something else. It was something that wasn't human, and the technology it had was um, was unlike anything I had ever seen. It moved like a ghost. My uh, my uh, my squad called it the uh, called the Ghost Hunter, and it killed in one sitting. It killed nine of my best men, and took their skulls as trophies. And that's when Dutch is like. Holy shit, did he string him up too? I was like, that's how we found the bodies in the base camp. And they're like, these things are coming to Earth. Like, and, and that's when Revy's like, are you guys fucking kidding me? Are you guys fucking telling me that an alien, that there are aliens coming to Earth? Little green men, is that what you're, and then a fucking, like, three lights show on Revy's head. And she's like, and that's when Re Rock, like, grabs her and, like, throws her to the ground just as, like, a bolt just comes flying through the window. The Predator is here, and it's not just any Predator. It is the Predator that did hunt um, ho uh, um, Bella Laika's squad back in um, the 80s. So they're like, oh, fuck. They, uh, so, and Bella Laika knows this because, like, during the fight, she did shoot it in the, in the helmet, and it broke one of the lenses, so the eye is exposed. So the Predator sees, the, you know, the Predator sees Bella Laika... And just immediately is like, you. <laughs> so hotel, members of Hotel Moscow and the Lagoon Company are now like trying to like open fire on it. It just cloaks again and vanishes. And Revy's like, holy fucking shit! It's a fucking alien. There's a fucking alien uh, hunting us. What the? How? Like, it, and, and then she's like, I'm gonna kill me an alien. That's what I'm gonna do. The great Revy is gonna put a bullet through a fucking alien. So the predator goes through Hotel Moscow's base, kill, uh, like killing its way through several members of Hotel Moscow while they're trying, uh, while everyone's trying to kill it. Bella Laika, on the other hand, is like she gets out of her suit for the first time and gets in like tactical gear because she's like this uh, this monster is not taking any more of my men. So they basically it actually like there's a there would be a part. Where the predator like grabs rock and like lifts him up and is like, meh, no weapon. He's not. Uh, 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 he's like that's uh, and that's when rock is like, oh my god, that's how you beat it. It need you know, Dutch, throw your gun down. Revy, throw your gun down. It doesn't. It you know, it won't attack you if it, it if it doesn't see you as a worthy hunt. It's a hunter. It wants a fight. And Revy's like, fuck that. I'm not dropping my guns for for shit. And he's like, god damn it, Revy. And that's when he, um um. Bella Laika just shouts, over here, you know, <laughs> over here, like, uh, I'm here, you want me, kill me, come fight, you know, come fight a real Russian, and the Predator's like, yeah, this Predator jumps down, um, and the two, uh, like, jumps down to face her in the courtyard of the base, and the two just proceed to fight, but Bella Laika lit up, uh, like, char uh, like, uh, hid Semtech, bombs throughout the plaza and just starts lighting them up, blowing them up, causing the Predator to, like, his um, vision to be blurred. He has to, like, take the helmet off. And that's when she's like, now, comrade, 
And that's when the Predator just looks up and sees, like, it's on a scope, and it's like, oh, fuck. Gets shot in the head by her right-hand man killing it, and the Predator is dead. Or not, it, or they think they is, because it turns out the bullet just grazed his skull, and that's when it's like, <laughs> it's like dialing in the numbers, like, oh, guys, that's a fucking bomb. So they all split, just as the thing blows up, takes half of the uh, Hotel Moscow's headquarters with it, um, but the Predator is dead, and and Bella like is like, I'm glad I can kill that gu uh, that monster, but at the same time, I wish I had been able to like harvest some of those uh, that weaponry. Could you imagine what we could do with it? And Revy's like, I sure as shit can. <laughs> I would have killed to have those guns. But by the end of it, the Predator's gone. Um, but then they're like, uh, Dutch has this moment of, I don't think he was the. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure seeing what I saw. With that, that what Bella Laika saw, I'm sure there's there's more out there. And there might be more coming. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is uh, Predator versus Black Lagoon. I want to thank every. I want to thank uh, Nolan for uh, sending me this. Uh, yeah, I want to thank Nolan for sending me this Patreon request as well as continued patronage. And I hope you all enjoyed this too. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multi I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time. The Multiverse. <laughs>